This is the story of a man named Stanley. That's me. That's me. I'm Stanley. Stanley the Manly. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh, word. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day. That's how my grandpa types on the computer sending me an email. And although others no wonder it takes some years to send it. Winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley Bye! Was and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh shit, going no out of business. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, there he we got go. up from his desk and stepped That's the daddy likes. Office. Okay, so like I said before, uh, the narrator is telling you what to do, but you don't have to listen to him. You could be a rebel, you could be a bad boy, and I'm actually going to explore right now. Can I sharpen this pencil? Denied. No, I can't do anything, okay. Uh, blank computer, everybody's gone. He must have missed the office orgy, right? 429, can I go in here? Oh, this motherfucker wants me to do 50 clicks. I don't think I'm going to do that shit. When okay. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, we're going to be a rebel. He wants us to go on the left, but we're going to go on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, I am going to the employee lounge just to admire it. There we go. Ah, yes. Nice. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, this room sure is pretty! All right, see you later! But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. First open door on my left. That means I'm not gotcha, gonna bitch. go in there, I'm gonna go in this door! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Shut your ass up. I'm gonna click on every single door here. Can I jump? Mm. Nope, Stanley cannot jump. Stanley sucks. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Well, whose fault There's is that? You're the one talking about me. Get my name out your mouth. One you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? This is oh, who's her? She fine? Your she got a big booty? Yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Yo, this dude keeps talking She's about her. Her's about to get it. She's about to get it from me, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Whoa. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, Should I then the phone, pick guys? up the phone. Can I leave? Hold on. No, I can't leave. I gotta answer the phone. Alright, let's do it. Is anybody there? Hello? Oh. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about- Get your day. Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> gotcha. Is that bae? Oh, that ain't come on. That's hey, hey, guy. What's up, girl? They want to commit their life to you. How you doing? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Whoa. Hold on. You guys think I should go in here? 
There's other doors here too. Maybe I could see what's going on over here. Nope. Sorry, but oh. you're in my story now. Damn it, you motherfucking narrator. All right, you want to be a big bully? Fine, I'll go in here. Hey, hon, how you doing? This is a very Let me sad story with. about the death of a Ooh. man named Stanley. Good morning, employee 427. Press O on your keyboard. Guy, you gotta make me look my my keyboard and shit. All right here. There. I pressed O. Oh, zero! Oh my god, me as stupido! Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Wow, well, fuck you then. Please press F. Stands for fuck you! Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now well, he's I'm a little employee a office bitch. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Okay, guys, I just skipped through the story because basically all the narrator did was tell me how much of a big dumbass I am, and he told my whole life story of how I didn't follow the path that he wanted me to, and now we're about to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. Okay, as long as I get he remains it, Mr. Narrator. Here, can you he's slowly killing himself. Shh. But he won't listen to me. He I don't stop. listen to you. I Here, never listen to anybody. I don't even listen to my Stanley, mom. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. <sighs> All right. Please press J to be at work in the morning. But I'm not going to press anything. I'm going to cross my hands and I'm going to tap my foot. All right. I'm tapping my foot and get a little tap, 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 root. I'm not going to press it. Nope. He said next time it tells me to press something, don't press it. You like that? Mr. Narrator, am I supposed to press it? I'm starting to think I'm supposed to press it. I'm starting to think that me crossing my arms right here is making me look like a huge dumbass right now. And I'm supposed to press it. Let me rub my chin pubes. The fuck? Uh, am I supposed to neglect this thing? Maybe I'm supposed to press J, guys. All right, let me press J. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? I was How trying I not to, to follow the directions, see? but How the game just How can I make him froze? look at himself? Press zero to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. We're not I'll so try different, once more you to and I. This to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps Open this damn well, door, pussy boy. Maybe this boy. time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. And Stanley pushed Fuck a no. Button. I don't want to die. And I tried again. I'm too young to and die. Stanley pushed a I have so many things to see, so many and girls to talk to. But I guess I died. Did I die? <laughs> All right. We're going to try that one more time. Because apparently I died. And... I think I should follow the path that he All wants me to, right? All his were gone. What okay. could it mean? I'm gonna follow the path. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. So he Perhaps wants he me to go to the meeting memo. room, and then he wants me to go on the door on the left. I chose the door on the right, and choosing the door on the right led me to my ending that I got, where I had when to answer Stanley that came yellow to telephone. When a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There, entered the door on my left. I'm Gucci. You proud of me, Mr. Narrator guy? Oh, that's bright. Somebody needs to put some blinds on that bitch. Yet there was not a single person here either. Do not Feeling alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Get Chris out of the broom closet. <laughs> what the fuck is Chris doing in the broom closet? Damn it, Chris, you're always fucking up the day. How to solve uh okay, they're just going to keep sliding. What's this? To do. Synergize core value expenditures, shift global market parod. Or is that something there? Paradada? Monetize free to play. Monetize free to play. Motherfuck. Here. Chris is in the broom closet, right? Woo! Damn, it opened the other way. Chris? Stanley you in stepped here? into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. No, Chris is supposed to be in here. Where the fuck did he go? Was he sticking the broom handle up his asshole again? Damn it, Chris. Always getting into weird shenanigans. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Should I go upstairs, guys? Or should I go downstairs and be a bad boy again? You know what? 
Fuck it. We've already been a rebel. We're gonna do it again. I'm gonna see what's down here. Maybe we're going to hell! Are we going to hell? I like hell. Hell's hot during the summer. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed oh, somebody spoke everyone copy. had vanished. Why did his I even notice that? Think That's he weird. Was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Whoa. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment. That coffee moment spilled again. No oh, I'm going in a loop. None of it made any logical sense. Ah, oh, fuck me silly, guys. And as Stanley guys. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? That's a good question. And for question. that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yes, they no, are. Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally this game's found trippy. an answer. I like it. An explanation. I'm going to go before it closes. Fuck. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. Maybe I can go inside this door before it closes. And he thought to himself, <gasps> I suppose nope. I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go. Ah, <gasps> damn, it's too fast for me. Job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to Whoa. gently float above I'm the flying. ground. I'm flying. Bitch, I'm flying. Then he imagined Woo! himself soaring <laughs> through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much Whee! fun. And Stanley marveled <laughs> that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. What? One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? I like this voice. It's relaxing, it's soothing. It makes me slightly horny too. Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Oh, I'm closing my eyes. And he invited himself to wake up. Okay. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The oh. press of the mattress on his back. Oh, that feels good. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Yeah, wake up. Let me wake I'm up. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. I am okay. Okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone Jeez, wake scary. me up. My name is Stanley. What the fuck? That shit scared the fuck out of me. I am <gasps> Please, just someone tell me I'm God real. damn. I must be that actually freaked me out. The hairs on the back of my neck are standing up. And everything went black. And then? And then what this happened? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Okay, this narrator guy talks way too damn much. Basically, Stanley pancaked onto the floor. This bitch walked in with her briefcase, saw it, and she stood there instead of calling the police. On to the next one! I want to find out how I can get in this door right here, door 425, but I can't do anything. So if you guys want to see me play more of this, though, please let me know in the comments below that you want more. But if you guys enjoyed this video, though, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, too!